just got to get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag. Thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag. Thank you. What's up with all the rude bitches? See, you know, and then when you all get doors and you, you know what I mean? And you, you let doors slam on hoes and all that, then you're wrong. <laughs> Corey part two. That was the prologue in the last video. This is going to be chapter one. All right, we're going to have one episode per chapter. We talking one to two hours, bruh. So hopefully y'all ready for that. Let's not waste time. I, oh, oh, I ain't do my job. <laughs> Before we do that, we'll go, go ahead and cloud save. Golden cloud save, my boys. Wanna upload this? Absolutely. <laughs> hey! You, you can't go wrong with a backup. You know? I can't believe this is a 2K game. I really can't. It's so funny. You know, I, I, is Dark Pictures also Superman? It might be. Let's find out. All right, let's get to it. Sorry for the delay. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes and terrifying but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other you didn't find anything and so i've nothing to show you you need to look harder the cards are out there if you don't help me how can i help you we're supposed to be friends you said so yourself Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This can't be the music that was originally on the game. I had to turn the streamer mode on. They put this goddamn paper towel uh, commercial ass music on this shit. Bounty ass, you know what I'm saying? This is this is the music I play when you get that internship. <laughs> Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack it's quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. 
Uh huh. Like you'll get over Emma. What? No, that's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad. Oh. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh yeah, so cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Pants was tight as fuck. Let's see the little piece of that. It ain't really a whole lot going on, but it's enough for me. Jake, bags, focus. Let's to the lodge. You know, is there a setting? I'm about to be a complete and total nerd. Is there a setting? Oh, uh, is it? Guys? Oh, sorry. Couldn't see. Display. No, oh, there was nothing else. Are we going up for that? Up the steps into the lodge for that? Talk to the man back here. According to reports from Hey! It's my guy. Some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Wait, what year is it? Okay, so we know he, he got a he got a he got the regular headphone. You don't have a wireless wireless one. Really calm right now. It'll get a little bit hectic, and uh, I, I believe very shortly. So, Jesus Christ! Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan. Please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Reminds me of the episode of The Office where he shuts <laughs> he shuts the door on the hole. Found a way into the lodge. The last time we tried to find a way into the lodge, we ended up downstairs in that cellar over there. I really don't want to be over there again. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. <laughs> Too bad you're in the movie. Is this? No, okay, because I was, I'm remembering, um, Not, well, it's it's from the same people that made the trick become human and beyond two souls. They had that other game, the the, um, the mystery game, with the serial killer, the origami killer. Um, anyway, that game you're able to change the camera view, basically, basically with the push of a button if you needed to. I didn't know if that was on here. It's, I know it's not the same studio, but.
Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Nothing else over here? One shit at a time, he said. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, no, nah, you, you don't say that. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, Man, God damn, she's rude as fuck. I got to sit here and thorn this attitude for 15 minutes. 
Uh, okay, so um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Sabotage garlic. Oh, this looks important. Ah, shit. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Do, 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 do. Oh, Nick! <gasps> Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, Ben. <laughs> ben. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where is everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Man. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. 
Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. So this is Emma over here with the green. So I'm realizing you, I have to um, look around more because there's stuff sitting all over the place and it's really easy to miss shit that you're gonna need. News? That you might need there's clues everywhere there's all kind of it's just it's so dark it's really it's really easy to miss stuff can't believe i'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs this is what i was saying about the uh the camera view being able to switch it Aw, this was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game! <laughs> Let's get you back to Izzy. See? I might need to go back and replay the, the last part because there's path changes and I might have missed something. Hold on. I went back and uh replayed the part with Jacob. There was a bracelet hidden in an outrageous spot. Super easy to miss. And when I picked it up, he said it was Emily's bracelet. And then it gave me the path chosen thing, which means I guess that was important. So I got to do a little bit better job of looking around during each chapter to find items because we might need them for later. I don't know if it's important or not, but it's sad path chosen. At the same time, I was eating Girl Scout cookies and I forgot that there was a QTE for when he throws my cell phone and I missed it this time. So my cell phone's broke. Hopefully that will come back to kill me later on. And I didn't want to replay it for a, for a third time, so. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. <sighs> Why is that black crow just sitting? Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <gasps> Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. See, see, ha I can keep my hands on the controller. Keep your hands on the controller. Keep your hands on the controller, bro. <gasps> Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. 
Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But... That's us. You and Nick... Could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? I mean... The worst comes the worst. Maybe we, we come back, I don't know. I mean, nothing's happened yet. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. All right, we took the scenic route. Okay. Let's be sarcastic. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like really happy or rock. <laughs> My favorite spot. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no. They're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, see ya. Now, whoever's in there, did they see us, though? We might have fucked up. But you never, you never can tell. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. What's up with all the rude bitches? You know, and then, and then when you all get doors and you, you know what I mean, and you, you let doors slam on hoes and all that, then you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? You can't win. You can't pick up the bags. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Can't pull out the chair. I mean, these hoes have lost their minds, man. I should fall on your ass next time. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Oh, God. Nobody oh. said you couldn't. Proof for no goddamn reason. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. 
him get the bag, though. <laughs> you, just, you just don't. You know what it is? They ain't fucking with them. That's what it is. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Well, people mind their motherfucking business. Ah. Uh. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think of. I just I picked the answer that matched to his personality. If you're wondering why I did that. I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... Paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Oh. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Hey! Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up! Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? What? 
Because kids are kids. It can only be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I, I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's already pushed you out like that. How do you get caught listening? You couldn't hear him walking towards the door? You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. This chapter's slow as shit, bro. Where the action? What's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. We messed up the van, though. I mean, we had two options either way. 
the van, we were going to take the arm or break the fuel line. So I don't know if that's going to make any difference. Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. It's not going to start. Right, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Everybody back! Now, now, now! <clears throat> Jacob, wait, Jesus wait, Christ. wait, wait! I got this. Almost missed it. Jeez, dude, I was trying to help. You don't throw that on gas. The gas fire. Hey, you gonna throw water on a gas fire, okay. stupid motherfucker? Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. <sighs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Be stuck here at night because of these dudes trying to get some ass. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Y'all gonna get us killed? Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. I can't be in there by myself. 
Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare it's us? It's a callback. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. All right, man. It is. Like, it is no. It don't seem like we're gonna change their mind. I would basically end the story. We all stayed inside like we we're supposed to. So now I gotta act like I'm. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Fuck away. Is that just binoculars or a damn sniper? Oh fuck! Head down, walk with reason, know that when the daylight dies, gonna have to face more. It's a guy from Detroit become human. The painter. Oh hell no! Should have went inside. I don't think you can make him go inside. Yeah, you can't. Hunting season. It was covered in all that blood. Okay, I need to know which chapter are we. Oh, I can't tell. All right, let me go back to the main me. I need to see what chapter one. Oh, right end of it. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I see your cards yet. That's that crazy bitch they talking about right there. <laughs> 